Okay, so let's talk about punch cards for a minute. There's a lot of different punch cards out there. You're gonna find Singer, Silver Reed, Studio. They have the 12 stitch, 18 stitch, and 24 stitch. 24 stitch is for a standard machine. 18 is for the rare um, mid gauge. And then you have 12 stitch for the Singer Studio Silver Reed bulkies. And um, you can actually use 24 stitch cards because they're the same width. However, there's no telling what kind of pattern you're gonna get unless you're punching your own, okay? the Because it's only going to read every other column starting on the right. So it would read this column, then not this one, then this one, or hold on. Let me turn that right so I don't confuse you. Okay, so it would only read this column, this column, this column, this column, this column. And so if you decide that you want to punch your own cards, you can use the less expensive 24 stitch punch card and just remember to start on the right hand side, okay? And then skip every other column. Now, for the bulky, they came with five cards for the main bed and five cards for the river. And I'm just gonna talk about these for right this minute. Um, one other thing you need to know, if you don't have your own that came with it and you wanted to use, well, let's say you were using a standard machine. Brothers and singers are different. The anat, let's, okay, let's talk about the anatomy of a punch card. On every punch card, they all have these two rows that go straight across, okay? And they're punched straight across. And what these are for is so that you can attach the card with the clips and it's not going to read them, okay? Now, so if you're going to start on your card and you're using a silver reed machine, don't count these two bottom rows, but if you count one, two, three, four, five, you always start right above the fifth row, okay? And that's where, you, that's where this line comes in when you reel it into your punch card reader, you're gonna stop right there so that you can begin here. Now, with a brother, it's a little different. They're two rows higher. So if you're using a brother machine, you would start on the seventh row, okay? Right above the seventh row. But if you were going to use it on a singer, you would start down here, right above the fifth row, okay? And same, you know, if you wanted to use singer cards in a brother machine, then you would just go up to, and your starting point would be right there between the second and third, because the third row is the one it would first read. Okay, and then one other thing, when you put it into your punch card reader, and you use your clips, you are going to put the top of the card over top of the bottom of the card. So you'll put your clips in here and you're gonna fasten it with the top over top, like that. That way it's not gonna get caught in the reader once it goes around. Cause otherwise it would be like this and it would this would get caught, okay? Now, I believe 
your book's going to go into more detail or your pattern cards as well. If you get, if you order a set of pattern cards, it will have uh, instructions most generally to tell you if the punch card is going to be for tuck, slip, fair isle, um, weaving, what have you, lace, different ones, but you cannot always use each punch card for every type of stitch. Um, the Singer Studio Silver Reed for your bulky, number one, you can use it for everything. Number four, you can use for um, tuck, slip, and I'm trying to think what else, tuck, slip, and fair isle. And there's a chart. This is just a bunch of scattered stuff. I've got a chart somewhere, but it's in your book as far as which cards will go for what one. And also, 